Good day. This is Peter Kniff from Castlestone Management with comments on the U.S. markets for the week ending October 30. All three major U.S. indices finished the week at record highs as the third quarter earnings continued to roll in. The market looked forward to next week's Fed meeting and personal spending fell in September. Although the market has priced in an end to the Fed's monthly purchase program, Weakening economic data falls into question the timing of the first interest rate hike. For the week, the Dow Jones rose four tenths of a percent to 35,819.56. The S&P climbed 1.3 percent to 4,605.38, and the Nasdaq Composite advanced 2.7 percent to 15,498.39. The yield curve continues to flatten for the second week in a row as consumer sentiment remained near the lowest level since the beginning of the pandemic, and the Fed is expected to announce the end of its bond purchase program. The 10-year is holding near 155, the two-year sits around half a percent, and the 30-year stands at 1.94 percent. The ICE dollar index peaked on Friday at 94.30 before backing off to close the week at 93.10. Still a good week for the dollar in anticipation of the Fed's meeting next week. Gold prices fell 1% on Friday, giving back all of their weekly gains to finish the trading, the five trading sessions down seven tenths of a percent at 1,783.90 an ounce. Oil prices slipped lower for the first time in nine weeks as U.S. inventories rose and a fall in natural gas prices dragged on the oil market. WTI dipped two-tenths of a percent, and Brent fell by more than 1% for the week. Thanks for doing business with Castlestone. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.